What's up, Pirate Nation? I'm your host, David Hyman. Welcome to a brand new edition of Hall Talk. We have a great show for you tonight. It's our women's basketball preview. We have exclusive interviews, and I'm going to bring on a panel to break down the upcoming season for the Pirates. This is Hall Talk. This team needs to show me something for me to believe that they're going to make a run in the tournament. I think they can have a chance of going over 35 wins without a problem. Just stepping up from the four points to the 17, she's just dropping threes like there's no tomorrow. But chemistry is an underrated key in college basketball. That, that was by far the best game I've seen them play. This is Hall Talk, and that's how the chalk talks. Welcome back, and before I introduce my panel, on Monday, the new College of Communications and the Arts held its inaugural convocation in the Jubilee Auditorium on campus. There, the university celebrated the introduction of the college in celebratory form. Hosted by interim dean Deirdre Yates, members of the college sat in on a formal opening. The event was joined by not notable Seton Hall alumni Paul Ward and ESPN anchor Bob Lee, who served as the keynote speaker. Our very own George Belecci had the honor of catching up with Bob for a few minutes before the event. George? As students shuffle in here to Jubilee Hall to for tonight's keynote speakers and the student convocation, one of the most important alumni of Seton Hall, and he goes without really needing introduction, Bob Lee, class of 1976, now ESPN Zone. Mr. Lee, thank you very much for joining it me. It is a joy to be here today. It really is. And so I ask you, you graduated in 1976. You went, you graduated high school just down the street in Bloomfield. Right. What brought you to campus right here in South Bloomfield? What brought me was, it was a 1965 Mustang, actually, which uh, at the time was not known to be a valuable car. I wish I had held on to it. What brought me here primarily, I think, was the communications at the time department and WSOU. Because you could hear the pirate basketball on SOU. You could hear the music and the disc jockeys and the creative production on SOU. And uh, communication and, and SOU, they're the reasons I, I came here. You talk about the curriculum in WSOU from your time, grad, when you graduated to what it is now. What have you seen in the progress here oh. at Seton Hall? What's offered now to students is it's amazing. I know in preparing my remarks for the uh, convocation this evening, I, I just refresh myself on all the different majors that are available, the way it's kept pace with technology, uh, the way it has numerous disciplines involved. I, I can't express how, how much this has flowered in the last few decades and to be recognized as a college, I mean, it's, it's just the, it's the right thing to do. For journalists and broadcasters, both at the professional level and starting out in college as a student, everyone would like to pick at your brain, what's a simple tip you have for them? Learn how to express yourselves, learn to write, it's a lost skill, not here certainly, but you'd be surprised some of the things I see uh, presented in a way, not necessarily people I work with, but letters or proposals or requests for employment that I receive or for advice. Learn how to express yourself, learn how to defend your ideas, be prepared. It sounds very simple, this is very basic stuff, but you would be surprised simply by, Woody Allen once said, 80% of life is showing up. It's not quite that simple, but the simple things do matter. Uh, your presentation, your preparation, your critical thinking. If you can get those things down, you're on second base. Well, Mr. Lee, thank you so much My for coming pleasure. back to speak to us. And most importantly, thank you for always being a proud pirate. It means the world to us. Well, students. it's I couldn't be prouder than tonight. For Pirate Television, I'm George Belecci, Bob Lee. Thank you very much. Thanks, George. And you can view Hall Talk's interview with Bob Lee in its entirety on our YouTube page, in the link found below. And at this time, I'd like to introduce my panel for this evening, Anthony DiPaolo and Kevin Hubler. Guys, thanks for joining me tonight. Thanks, it's great to be back, Dave. Thanks, Dave, great to be here. Now guys, we were all at the convocation on Monday and you heard Mr. Lee say it's a big deal for the university. Kevin, I'll start with you. I wanna hear your thoughts on the convocation. You know, I think he's right. I mean, when you look at the way this school used to be was College of Arts and Sciences, to have your own school and be College of Communication and the Arts, that puts an emphasis on the communication aspect, which is a big, major at this school, a lot of communication majors yep. at this school. I think it's nothing but good for the school to do Anthony? that. We know here we have Pirate TV, right. WSOU, and the Setonian. Student media is such a big aspect of Seton Hall University, and for it to have its own school now, it really is, as Bob Lee says, a big a deal. A big deal. I like that, Ant. <laughs> so our, our topic of discussion for tonight is our women's basketball team. Uh, but before we get into that, our very own Aaron Ross caught up with grad student Shakina Richardson and head coach Tony Bazella, who's in now year three of his regime uh, at Seton Hall. 
Aaron? Coming into the season, obviously new to the team, but still definitely a leader with your experience coming from Florida State last year, an Elite Eight team. What can you say that overall can give you more experience coming into the season? How can that help you? Oh, definitely. I, making it so far last year, you know, I just want to bring that over into this team, you know, being a successful you know, in my previous years. And also, I feel like this team has so much, so many weapons that I've seen before. So I feel like we have all the pieces to the puzzle to be great. And I'm just hoping my experience will add to that. And now, how's uh, meshing with Coach B been for you so far? Has he been great, all that? It's been great. He plays an up and down game that I love and ball screens and getting to the rack. And we just play fast pace, it's been fun. We do want to play the same style. And it is, you know, we have a lot of veterans, but it's new. Um, Shakina Richardson, obviously, a, a transfer from uh, Florida State by way of uh, Neptune High School in New Jersey. He's a tremendous player. Alicia Palace had Alice for us last year, too. So she'll help a lot. And, uh, you know, obviously we have Tab back, thankfully. And uh, Liberty and Tiffany have played very well so far. And two of our freshmen, uh, TT and Taylor, have been two of the best freshmen I've coached in a long time. Now, it's another fast-paced team as last year. Is that the same plan for this year, you think? Oh, I think so. I don't think we should change anything. It was successful last year. I think it will be successful this year as well. We're excited to play. We have, we have a talented bunch of young ladies who've worked really hard. I, I've been, we've had about 15 practices now, and, and really they, they, they've given us a great effort each day. This is Coach Tony Bazella. I'm Aaron Ross for Pirate TV. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Thanks, Aaron. And guys, hoops back. It's a great feeling. We had Seton Hall Media Day for the men's side on Thursday, which just even further proves that Seton Hall basketball is uh, once again back here in South Orange. But we're going to talk about the, the women's team tonight. And Kevin, I'll start with you. What are your thoughts on the upcoming season? You know, I think this season is going to be different from last season. I don't think they're going to have as good of a season as they had last season. I don't think they're going to be up there over 25 wins. They may not even reach 20, I don't know, I don't think. But for them, under Coach Tony Bazella, to have him as right. a head coach, that automatically puts them on pace for a good season. Yeah. Anthony? One thing, one recurring theme throughout the season that Coach Bazell said in interviews with different students is that he doesn't just want to build a good basketball team. He wants to build a good basketball program. Yeah, and, exactly. You know, as Kevin said, maybe they won't get 25 wins like they did last season, but to just build that solid foundation and to continue playing well despite losing some of the players that we're going to discuss later on, I think it's very important for them to take that next step. Now, there was no question that last year Khadija Simmons and Daisha Simmons were the leaders of the team. However, this year, clear-cut leader is Tabitha Richardson-Smith. Kevin, what are your thoughts on Tabs? You know, I think Tabitha Richardson-Smith is going to have to go to more of a passing role. I think a lot of teams in the Big East are going to go to what DePaul did in the Big East Championship last year. Right. I think they're going to double-team, triple-team her, do whatever they can to stop her. I think she's going to have to up her assist game per game. I think last season she was number three on the team in assists. She's going to have to be up there around number one. She's going to have to get yeah. three assists per game, I think. Yeah, she's definitely going to have to step it up. Anthony? Well, the thing about Tabitha Richardson-Smith, while both Simmons were the leaders of the team, Tabitha Richardson-Smith did lead the team in scoring with 17.8 points per game mm -hmm. last season. So to know that they still have their leading scorer, that's all said and done. However, there is a bit of a drop-off. The next leading scorer is Tiffany Jones. She ranked sixth on the team last year with seven points per game. Right. But then Jordan Mosley had just two points per game, and she was ranked seventh. So there's a big drop-off. There's a big drop-off, yeah. So there's no doubt, though, that Tabitha Richardson-Smith will be the leader. So we mentioned Khadija Simmons and Daisha Simmons departing last season. Kevin, the loss of those two, what they brought to the floor, just the experience and the leadership Give your thoughts on the loss of those two for this season for the Pirates. You know, they lost Deja and Khadija, but I don't think they really lost a lot in terms of experience because they got Shakina Richardson. They have Alicia Powell coming back. She sat out last season. She's been with the team. This is going to be a team that has the experience they had last season. They do lose the spark plug that Deja Simmons was and Khadija Simmons was, but at the same time, it's going to be Shakina Richardson and Alicia Powell that bring that experience to help Tabitha Richardson-Smith. Anthony? Well, I think if you're looking at tangibles, mm -hmm. the one thing that Khadija and Daisha Simmons both had was speed. They were very fast. They were able to drive to the basket. And to see if Seton Hall can keep up with that up-tempo pace, that's going to be the biggest question, I think, as they're heading into the new season. Hardest question of them all. Kevin, prediction for the season. You know, I think this team is going to be 21-8. and eight. I don't okay. think I think they're going to have a big drop-off last season because they do lose Khadija Simmons and Daisha Simmons. Yes, you have, Ta you have Tao Richardson Smith, you have Shakina Richardson, you have Alicia Powell, but they don't fill the same shoes that, Alicia, that uh, Deja and Khadija filled. I think they're going to go 21-8 and eight overall and 14-4 and four in the Big East. I don't think they're going to hit 20 wins this season. I think they'll be closer to maybe 17 or 18 wins. But, you know, again, 
I don't think a lot of people have an idea of how they're going to do this season with the loss of Deja and right. Khadija Simmons. But I think Tony Bazzella knows what he's doing behind the bench, and I think he'll lead the team to a, another good season. And that's a very important factor, Tony Bazzella, year three of his regime. It should be really interesting to see how the Pirates uh, just – expand under him and they have some new leadership now. There's clear cut Tabitha Richardson Smith is gonna this is her team, so we'll see what she can do. Just like Bob Lee said on Monday about a big deal with the College of Communication and the Arts, it's a big deal that basketball is back in South Orange. Join us next week. We're gonna have the men's basketball preview show. But for tonight, for Anthony DePaulo and for Kevin Hubler, I'm David Heim. Have a good night everyone.